Hey everyone, it's Eric with Lifehacker here. This is one of the two videos we're going to use to show you how to create your own customized Windows installation disk. For this video, we're going to use WinReducer 8. This app allows you to include Windows updates, set up users, and even embed your own serial key in your customized Windows installation disk. If you want to create an image with your desktop apps already installed, we'll show you that in a separate video that you can use with the Refresh My PC tool. We'll put the link to that video in the description below. The first time you run WinReducer 8, you're going to be prompted to download a bunch of packages. Some you might already have, like 7-Zip. Others you're probably going to need to download separately. The app has links next to each required package, so you shouldn't have to go hunting too far. As a heads up though, ImageX and OSCDIMG are part of the same download, which requires you to sign up for a forum account. You need to make sure you install all of the packages and point WinReducer to both the 32 and 64 bit versions. It doesn't matter which version of Windows you're running or which one you need the installation disk for. You have to install both versions before you can run the app. Once you've selected all nine packages, click save at the bottom. And then you'll see a warning that says you won't be able to use the downloadable upgrade or AIO ISOs for this. Just click OK there. On the next screen, you'll need to point WinReducer towards a copy of Windows 8 that's on your hard drive. If you have a Windows 8 retail disk, you can copy all of the files from the root folder of that drive to any folder on your hard drive and point WinReducer to that, or you can use a ready-made ISO like I have here. So to use this, I'm just going to click Extract an ISO, select Open, yes to that as long as you have enough hard drive space in that particular folder, and then navigate to the folder where I have that ISO and select open. I can close that. So once WinReducer has gotten all the Windows files it needs, you're ready to get started. First, select the type of Windows installation you want to create, either Windows 8 or Windows 8 Pro. Uh, there's actually no difference between these two options. For some reason, it's rendered it twice a couple of times. So select the type you want to create and then click mount. After a brief wait, all the prep work is done and we can start with the fun stuff. From this screen, you can remove any number of components to reduce the size of the disk, though that's probably a bad idea if you don't know what you're doing. I'd recommend skipping the components reducer tab. However, if you click on the customization tab, there are things you can change without risking damage to your installation. You can add your desktop wallpaper, your lock screen image, select a theme, even a boot background. However, if you want to save yourself a lot of headaches later on, click the System tab over here, and this is where we can embed Windows Updates into your installation disk. To include Windows Updates in your installation disk, so that you won't have to re-download them when you reinstall Windows, click the checkbox labeled Updates. Next, you'll need to find a place to save the updates. So here, select No, and then we can choose where to put them. So. We'll go with Downloads, Create a New Folder, Updates, and click OK. Now make sure you have plenty of space on the hard drive that you're designating here for when they download all of the updates. Once you've done that, click the Updates Download Tool button to the right. Then in the window that pops up, click Check under WinReducer Catalog Updates for Windows 8. We have updates! Here you'll see a list of all of the updates that you can include in your installation disk. Now, you can include a ton of stuff, including your regular critical and important updates. You can include the Silverlight plugin. There's even an Adobe Flash Player down here. But for my installation, I'm just going to select all the ones over here. The critical, important, moderate, low, and update roll-up updates. So, select the ones you want. Make sure they're all checked up here and click download. Now this can take a little while, so depending on how many updates you've got to install, you might want to go grab a coffee or something. Once the downloads are done, you'll get a vague dialog box asking if you're sure. You probably are, so click OK. Yep. Including updates will probably be the biggest time saver you can perform with this app, but there are a few more goodies you can play with under the Unattended tab. Here you can have the app automatically accept the EULA, create accounts, and even embed your serial number. However, remember that every installation will use that same serial number, so you won't be able to use it to help your friend out or fix another machine. 
If you're okay with that though, click enable, yes, and enter your serial number here. Once you're done fiddling with all your settings, you're ready to head to the apply tab. There's not much here except the big blue button that says launch. Click that button. Say okay to applying these settings. And it will run through and compile all the settings that you've selected so far. Once WinReducer has finished bundling all your options together, you can choose how you're going to save your newly compiled version. Up here, you can choose either a regular WIM file, or you can save to create a WIM file and create a new ISO in the process. The ISO option is great if you want an easy backup for your disk image that you can burn to a DVD as often as you need. Alternatively, you can click the Advanced Options button to make a bootable USB stick, and there's even a handy tutorial to show you how to do this right here. However, I want to just create an ISO, so I'm going to hit Save in WIM file and create a new ISO. Oh, uh, well, this is fine if you want to just leave it for the default. And then click the big blue Save button. Once this process is done, you can just burn the ISO to a disk and use that to install Windows on a new PC.